How's it going everybody? So I just picked up my new Black Series lightsaber. Now this is Luke Skywalker's green lightsaber from Return of the Jedi. Now this is my favorite lightsaber. I do have a tattoo of this lightsaber hilt on my arm. Something that always fascinated me was the green lightsaber ever since I was a little kid. I just loved this one the most. So here's a look at the outside of the box. So it says Star Wars The Black Series Luke Skywalker Force FX lightsaber. And you just have an image of the actual lightsaber and Luke Skywalker as he looks in Return of the Jedi which is my favorite version of Luke Skywalker. The bottom of the box just has a schematic version of the lightsaber, or like the blueprints. The box shows you how the lightsaber is gonna look once you put it on its actual stand. So I'm really happy to get my hands on this one. So that's how it looks on the inside of the box. They always do a good job of packaging these. It's just this stuff you have to look out for because it gets everywhere. It's like sand. There's the lightsaber. Now on the bottom of the box, the Force FX lightsabers always come packed the same. They have the stand, and then you have the instructions on the bottom. Now, these instructions have the same images that are on the outside of the box. You just have Luke on the front, and then it shows you at the top how to actually put the lightsaber on the stand. There we go. Beautiful. I don't know if it's gonna to be too easy to see, but I am gonna put the batteries in. It's a little bright in this room, so I'm gonna try my best to give you guys the best look at it while it's turned on. So all of these are pretty much the same in terms of how you put the batteries in. You just unscrew the compartment that's on the battery compartment, insert your three AAA batteries, and then you just put the cap back on. Now, to me it looks okay on the camera, but obviously it's gonna look a lot better when it's dark out, so I might have to wait till nightfall to actually enjoy this thing outside. Yeah. Okay, so my only problem with this hilt, it is my favorite design, but it's this section right here where the button is. Now, this section of the lightsaber sticks out quite a bit, so it's a little uncomfortable to hold, especially when you have both hands on it and you're trying to twirl it around, because it digs into your hand, depending on how you twirl it. So, when you have one hand on it, it's cool, it's great. But the minute you wanna get into like some heavy action, that's when you're gonna run into a problem. Back when Disney announced that the sequel trilogy was coming out, People asked me what was one thing I was looking forward to the most, and it was seeing this green lightsaber in action. So when The Last Jedi came out, I was really disappointed that there was only like two or three scenes at most, like those flashback scenes with Luke and Kylo Ren. And it really disappointed me. You know, this, this lightsaber didn't have much of a presence in the sequel trilogy, and that is what I was really hoping I'd see. I really wanted to see this thing in action and unfortunately it just didn't happen and i really feel like that was a missed opportunity with the last jedi because you know going into the movie we thought luke's coming back we're definitely going to see this thing in action and we didn't get that so i guess i have no choice but to go outside later on tonight when it's a little darker outside and show you this thing in action and show it to you the way i hoped we would have seen it on film <laughs> So here's an up close look at the lightsaber guys. Now one thing in particular that stands out to me and it's really not movie accurate is this section right here. It's a lot thinner in the movie whereas on this replica it's thicker. And the other big thing is the fact that the switch isn't actually here on this replica. It's on the side. So you flick it up and it turns the lightsaber on. And that brings me to my next point. 
This is also the standard sound that you hear when you turn on a force effects lightsaber. But it's not the actual sound that Luke's green lightsaber makes. This is what the actual sound should have been. So anyways guys, this is still my favorite lightsaber color and design. I don't really have any other complaints other than those few that I listed. But if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel, hit the bell icon, and I'll see you in the next one.